Yeah. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, iPod King Carter here. I know everybody has been talking about Madden 16. Everybody has been hitting me up on Twitter. I'm here with Rex from the dev team. It's time to get some questions rolling. I've got a couple questions from Twitter, and we're going to try to get them here answered here today. First, Rex, introduce yourself. My name is Rex Dixon. I'm an in-game creative director on Madden NFL 16. All right. And with that being said, let's get into the first question. Fans have been up in arms about team play mode. Is there any chance that that returns to Madden in the near future? I think so. Uh, the, the thing with team play mode, the telemetry data really didn't show us that a lot of people were playing that mode. In fact, it was one of the least played mode, and the cost of maintaining that mode was pretty high. So we choose to invest mainly in the modes that people are playing. The other thing about team play mode is we feel like if it's not like done right, like done to a triple A quality, then it probably shouldn't be in the game. We didn't feel like that mode was triple A quality. So until we can feel comfortable investing in it and making it a triple A experience, that's when we'll bring it back. Understood, understood. Next question. I love the aspect of player mode and connected careers. Is there any chance we can get more personal depth or story to that player? Or can I get a more of an attachment for the player? I think so. I think, uh, you know, the Madden team needs to look back a little bit at NCA and their Road to Glory feature, which kind of felt like a unique mode, um, whereas Madden, it kind of feels more just like, you know, a, a very similar to the main CFM mode. So I think we need to do a better job of, of providing enough unique custom elements in that mode so that it feels like a completely different experience than the other modes. And it's something we're definitely very high on and you could be seeing in the next couple of years. All right. For the next question. Don't want to ask many gameplay questions, of course, but it seems like a couple people's Y button doesn't work. Now, for that, could you tell me why certain people get a certain animation every time they press it when they're going for an interception? So, with Ball Hawk, uh, the Y button mechanic on defense, um, if you're out of position to make a play on the ball, in other words, if you're too far away, you need to switch to play receiver. Because if you try to go for a pick and the receiver's got position on you, your guy's gonna play a catch like this behind the receiver and he's beaten gone. So it's really this year about knowing when you're out of position to make a play on the ball and switching to that square button so you can play receiver and go for a knockout. Um, so what you're experiencing is people using play ball in a situation where they should have used play receiver. All right, gotcha, gotcha. Next question. This one is about Ultimate Team. Ultimate Team has become the holy grail in Madden in a short period of time. Any chance we can get more variety in packs or maybe even team themed packs? Absolutely. I, I don't think there's any question that with the popularity of Mutt and the way it's exploded the last three years, um, we're basically going to listen to the fans, and whatever their top requests are, we're going to make it happen. All right. Sounds good. The Mutt community has been vocal this year for coins and cards losing value in this year's, well, last year's Madden, because, of course, Madden 16 is coming right, right soon enough. Now, they want to know, what can we do to appease the guys that grind in the auction house or solo challenges? Those guys have made Mutt their all-everything daily event. What can we do? So for us, it's about security. It's all about security. It means that basically what happens is anytime you have like this stuff going on, like gold farming or Bitcoining or whatever it is, or people cheating each other's out of trades or all these other things that go on, the more that EA can build an infrastructure that protects people from that kind of stuff, because the more people start to cheat and game the system, the more the economy goes out of whack. So we're taking protecting that stuff very seriously because as long as we can protect uh, all the users from that type of behavior, then the economy stays balanced and you'll get the, the effect you're looking for. All right. Now, one question that's, that's been very vocal. Will there, well, if there can be, a playable combine and connect the franchise mode, is that possible? It's possible. I think it's something we've been looking at for quite some time, but like I said earlier, this dev team is not going to launch something until we can feel we can get it to AAA quality. So I'm not even going to tell you right now that we haven't actually started working on things like that for the future. We call advanced team projects, things that are like long lead, like we know it might take a few years to think about and brainstorm before we get to something solid, but Combine is definitely on our list of those things. All right, next question. Can we see an upgrade to the draft presentation? Will we ever see Roger Goodell at the podium? I think anything is possible. I think... Um, Right now, the draft experience in CFM is definitely not our, uh, what I would call a shining moment for us, um, but it's something we're definitely interested in and we want to invest in. Um, so things like the combine draft, the Pro Bowl, all these things are on our radar. They're just kind of a little bit further out than our core themes that we want to get to. All right. All right. That sounds great. Now, next question. 
Draft Champions has a chance to bring more players over to Mutt. Any rewards set up in that mode to do so? I think right now, uh, we'll, we'll talk about that stuff in the future. I think right now, we just want to get the moat out there, see what people think of it, see if it's popular, see if it takes off. If we find that people are playing there a lot, we'll start doing stuff like adding rewards and, and got, like, who knows where we're going to go with it. But really, for this year, it's about seeing how people take to it, and if it's popular, we'll extend it in the future. All right. Now, to my own personal question, I play a lot of connected careers and connected franchise mode. Is there any way that we can get a nice camera where it's downfield, normal, and be able to play with all players, even if you're a quarterback, running back, wide receiver, cornerback, uh, lineman at all? Like a quick switch to, you know, stop a situation. Because, you know, sometimes it feels like when you're at quarterback, after you make that pass, it's all up to the computer. It's nothing you can do besides maybe run, get a block if it's all the way downfield. But most of the time, it's just that one play and then, it'll cut until you come back in the game. Are you talking about player mode? Yeah, player mode. Yeah, I think we're going to look at player mode heavily next year. So um, we're actually, uh, we're opening up to our fans in the community and kind of like, we want you to tell us what you want to see in player mode. We have our ideas, but we want to hear your ideas. Um, I think you're going to see a big investment in player mode over the next couple of years inside CFM. Right. Well, guys, that's all the questions I have for Rex. If you guys have any other questions, I'll see if I can try to get in touch with this guy. This man is very busy. He's doing a great job.